This is Joe. I'm going to be demoing the DAT CLI that we will be releasing soon. The CLI has some live updating features. So what that means is that similar to Dropbox, how when you update or add new files, uh, they'll get downloaded immediately to wherever you're sharing them to. So I'll demonstrate how that works and just show what the CLI looks like and how it works. So on the left side where the white terminal is, I'm going to be sharing the files from my downloads folder and then I'll be downloading them to the right side to my desktop. So to share a file or a folder, I type dat and then the directory, hit enter and it'll start adding those files. So now they're all added and I can copy this link. And then to download them, I'll type dat, the link, and then the directory. So I'm gonna download them into the data directory and hit enter. And we can see they're starting to download here. So you can see all the files over here. So now that they're all downloaded, I'm going to move this extra files folder into the downloads and then those will get updated over here. And you can see immediately that folder appears on the right side. So the files are updating as we add new files and edit files and then they get downloaded immediately. So in addition to the live updating, we also added a dat folder. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like and what it's used for. So I can see uh, in my downloads directory that there is a .dat folder now. So that .dat folder is the database for Hyperdrive and also remembers the key that you were sharing here. So now if I type .dat downloads again, it will share with the same key. So we see this key is still the same as that one. So basically you can, what that allows you to do is, let's say I want to change some files or add some new files. So I can add this file here and that file will get added once I type that downloads again. So we just added one more file and that will get updated on the download side. So we should be able to see that now. That SIG file over on our desktop, here it is. And the same thing happens on the download side. So we can see that in my data folder, there's a dot dat folder now. So that will remember what you were downloading. So it's similar to git, how you initialize a git repository, and then it saves the dot git folder so that it sort of remembers what you were doing in that folder. And that's it for the CLI right now. Thanks.